Welcome, warriors, to World of Tanks with Sovetol. And today I bring you Deep Him and his Cromwell in a tier 6 match on the Siegfried line. Deep Him is moving up the south side towards the east end of the map, finds himself some cover and hopefully his first target. And here comes a Stug. Good, our first catch of the day. Stug moves along, not even sure if he's spotted Pim, but I am pretty sure not. Pim takes the first shot, misses. Don't even think that Stug realizes he's been fired on until he's been trapped. Stug's stuck now, and Pim is free to just to pummel a few more rounds into the Stug and gets the Stug kill. Decides to stay put, not wanting to expose himself in case there's going to be any more tanks coming his way. The VK and the T1 heavies moving into the south side of the town. Spots a Wolverine. Someone gets a shot into the Wolverine. And Pim's going to get a good shot here in a second. Just watch his line marker as he angles the line marker towards the edge of the building. The Wolverine disappears, but he waits, hoping to get the shot, and he is rewarded with the kill. That's the warrior spirit. He sits on a little bit further, waiting to see if there's going to be another tank. He's already got two kills. No one else on his team there. The Grail finally got a kill. There's an M4. Gets a shot, but bounces off the front armor of the M4 with the T1 Heavy pushing in on the M4. The M4 backs down. Tries to line up on the Cheeto, but he's got the church in his way. So he decides to move up. Moving himself into the side of the city, towards the south end of the city flank. He wants to make sure that he's still going to be a use to his team as a medium tank. He's got the ability for speed. And Toaster right there. Oh, hi, Mr. Toaster. The Toaster probably as surprised as Pim was. Tries to get a shot off, but no joy. He circles, but Toaster, you ain't going to catch him. He's a Chromo. It's too fast for you. And he just burnt the toast. And there's a nice long arc of an arty shot, so he knows there's an arty right there. Yeah, right at the edge of the map right there. He's going to pull himself forward, using the trees as cover. Pulls past. Gets himself into the city, trying to help out his friendly team in the middle of the map. Someone spots a KV-1, so Pim's going to get a few shots off this KV-1. Unfortunately, the first shot misses. Second shot looks like it might have hit the ground over there. KV-2 doesn't even know where of him. Ah, first shot into the KV-1. Shot into the fountain. There we go. Oh, Hellcat. Run, 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 run. Right through the barrier. Hits Pim. Knocks out his commander and his gunner. Pim choosing to repair his gunner for his accuracy back. Commander still knocked out, which will leave him essentially blind. So he's got to rely on his speed and mobility. So he's not going to be able to snipe very much anymore without the ability to see with his commander, so he's just going to have to keep his speed up and rely on the swiftness of his tank. Spots the other uh, Cromwell, takes a shot and misses. Cromwell returns fire with the same amount of luck, but Pim is able to return fire quicker. He comes up here to support his remaining ally. Oh! ELC just shot him in the side. Manages to track him. Pim gets a shot on the ELC. Looks like he may have tracked the ELC back. ELC, stop for a second. Now, if you note, there's only the KV-1 and the Cromwell left. But the enemy team has the Hellcat, the KV-1, the PZ-4, the AMX-13 AM, and the ELC. So it's two to one odds here. Pim's going to try and flank. Nope, I take that back. It's now five to one odds. At this point in time, Pim has really got to dig into his warrior spirit. He's got to get more. There's the... AMX, AMX shoots and misses. Pim is rewarded with another kill in combat. There's the Hellcat. Pim tries to shoot at it, but hits the already dead Artie. Takes a shot at the Hellcat, gets another shot. So there's Hellcat's now one shotable, but he misses. Hellcat's rewarded with enough time to sink in a shot, but he gets shot. There's the ELC again. ELC takes a shot, but tries to get away. Doesn't get that. D Pim is now on seven kills. Two to one odds. He moves out into the field, see if he can't find those tanks again. 
So all that's left on the enemy team is the KV-1 and the PZ-4. Both with good health capabilities, but at this point in time, he's not seen them, so he does not know what their health is at. He himself has only got 274 health left, an injured commander, and he just ran into a friendly dead tank. Seven kills. Now, he's either got to try to cap or kill both the enemy tanks. If he tries to cap, he's going to be stuck for about three minutes or so as he runs the countdown time down. But he's going to be trapped on the cap zone, so both tanks will know where he's at. It's probably not a viable option for him right now. So he probably, at this point in time, decides to embrace the way of the warrior, and he goes on the hunt, stalks his prey. He stays in the bushes as long as he can, until he finally comes into the city. He's keeping an eye open, trying to spot them before they spot him. He takes a long, nope, not at the cap, not behind the church. Oh, there they are, both of them together, both of them facing away from me. He takes the opportunity, gets the first kill, takes one shot, pops it into the KV-1. KV-1 can't turn his turret in time, so he tries to squeeze Pim in between himself and the building, but he doesn't get it. Pim's rewarded with enough time for another shot, and the final kill! Pim now sits on a victory and nine kills in a Cromwell. Over 2,000 damage in this run, nine kills, and the victory with an injured commander. That's the way you embrace the warrior spirit. Kaplasovwe!